Hi there, this is Rachel with Razzle Crafts and I am going to do the full deck challenge. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is uh, deck two, card 11, and the prompts were a heart, buttons, coffee, and paper straw. So the first thing I'm going to do is put something over the card, some tissue, Get this Mod Podge open. I'm sorry, my, my voice is a little <clears throat> a little scratchy. I mean the little kiddos all had been sick, and of course now I am. So just spread it with this little scraper thing. It works so great. And um, I didn't even know what that was for until I saw Tanya using it. Because I had one, I didn't have a clue what it was for. And um, yeah, so it's perfect. Now I'm not ruining my paintbrushes with um, Mod Podge. <laughs> So we got that. I don't know if I want to do another layer or not. Might not be a good idea because this um, coffee cup is brown anyways. Oops. Put that on there. <coughs> Okay, get some with some lines in it. Added interest here. <clears throat> okay, and I can take that off later. So let's see. Let's make sure that's stuck down right there. And I do have some coffee. And I have this coffee cup and I have the straw that I'm going to smash and I need some scissors. I keep walking off with scissors. Oh good, I have a pair. I thought I might even try to do something different with the paper straw. Open it. That's kind of cool. I did that with this one too. taking so long there we go <clears throat> so I'm just gonna open this and flatten it down and I think that's gonna give a really nice back drop so I might not use this little coffee cup I might just use these and the coffee it's almost dry <clears throat> Let me see, I do have my dryer. I want to get the, oh, oh goodness. I'm so sorry. I seem to do that every time. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. It's almost dry. So I'm going to pour some of this coffee on here. And I'm I'm going to use the, the drying gun, the hot air gun. Yeah, it's still very wet. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to go dry this properly. 
Okay, I'm back and I've got the coffee all dried on there. And I decided to also coffee dye this strip of music paper and use that as well. And I had an idea to take a different approach on the hearts. So I am going to use some gesso. Let's go ahead and get I tell you, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't have to stop bumping that all the time. Okay, where is my glue? Uh, let's see if this one works because I think I left it in the other room. I was working on some things. Get a needle. This one's long enough. So it looks like we are gonna have a sunny day today. Our week has been very gray and cold and a little bit rainy, but mostly gray and cold. And um, so here we go. This and this is actually going to stick down. I keep forgetting this isn't this is the um reptile glue, not the art glitter glue. The art glitter glue, it just it really grabs fast. Very fast. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna trim the edges right here. my coffee this morning. Sometimes my coffee makes me shaky and sometimes it doesn't. Or I just get the shakes in the morning. I don't know. This is not I wanted it. Okay. So that is glued down. And now I, I have this heart right here in the center. The heart. And actually, I don't mind if it's... Okay, well, there's the whole thing. And I'm just going to go ahead put that on here. Go ahead and add a little bit of that. Don't want to cover up too much of that coffee dyeing that we worked so hard on. Okay. I'll actually clean this off. <laughs> I usually don't. Okay, there. I wiped it. It's got coffee and gesso on it now. Yuck. Okay, let me get a new one. Okay, so next, it should dry pretty quick. Let me grab this and just hit it real quick with the heat gun. Hoping that's good enough. Okay, so our next step that I wanted to do was put these straws on here. Which I think I, let's give it a nice kind of torn torn edge if I can. Oh. Okay. I think I'm gonna use the hot glue because this is going to be a little harder to stick. And I don't think that other glue is going to keep it down that well. Okay, so that's one. And then there's the other one. Here. Go like that, maybe. Okay, I like that, and let me put the lid on this, and I'm just trying to think what else I might want to put on there, just kind of jazz it up a little bit, 
Um, hmm. Let's see what kind of ribbon or fabric I might have. Okay, so I have some of this lace. We'll cut off a piece and I'm gonna cut it down the middle because it's really wide, most likely. Let's see first. Yeah, just too wide. Make two pieces out of it. That. Let it go in like that or over here. Uh, that looks off over there, I think. And <coughs> oh, I have an idea. So I grabbed this striped blue baker's twine. I'm thinking I can make. A messy thread come on piece okay where is that it's really wrapped around there okay oh it's this one okay let's see what we can do here it might be way too much I do need to just kind of want to lock it up a little bit and make a little mess and have that guy going over it. Okay, a little bit more coming out on this side. Try to keep a balanced mess, right? Ah. Okay. Or I think that just maybe we'll do that over here and put a button on there. <coughs> Okay, so there's some lace, and oh, I brought this jar of buttons that I found thrifting, and there was some handy little screws in there as well. So, let's see, that's a nice big one to cover that. Okay. Help it stay. Ow! Oh, ouch! <laughs> Darn it! I forgot it comes through the holes when you push it down. Yikes! Okay, don't do that. <laughs> this is really pretty. Let's see. These ones. Um, I have to cut the the shank off of there. Wouldn't that be pretty on there? See if we can do that. <coughs> Just grab my jewelry pliers. There we go. Oops. Oh, this one's actually just plastic, so it cut really easily. I have some that are metal, and it's oh, more challenging. doesn't have holes for it to poke out okay and I think we need a blue one would be nice I just I don't know where all my buttons are right now I'm trying to remember that's why I grabbed this one because I couldn't remember where they are hmm See if I have any buttons in my drawer. <clears throat> Sometimes I have some in here. Oh, of course, well, I have some that a pack that's supposed to be for shirts. Oh, well, I have these ones. I thought 
I was going to use on some clothing, but then I thought they looked just too, too fancy. They just looked a little too uh, formalish. There we go. Let's put her little, the little shoe down here. That's cute. And cut the back off of that. Put that one on there. These are really pretty. Or should I do the white? Ooh, I like that. <clears throat> well, I'm glad I found a use for these. Okay. Alright, try not to burn myself. There we go. I think that's really pretty. Very pretty. Now it just needs some words or something. I don't think I have any, like, ready ones. Um, let me think. Uh, I have some Tim Holtz. <clears throat> Let's see. Live, create. Fall in love with many things. Hmm. Just, I like to have some sort of backing behind this. What can we use for backing? Oh, this blue paper. Let's see. Where is it? Right here. That would be really pretty. It's a little too long. There we go. That looks strange going across like that. Let's see. Fall in love. Down a little farther. With as many things as possible. And then just <coughs> a little distressing on there because that's just too white. Yeah, there we go. Yes. I'm still not super wild about the crisscrossing, but that would be silly. Um, darn. But, yeah, I don't like that. Hmm. I gonna make this work because I don't like the crisscross well maybe I need to find something that's smaller maybe try to do like a circle -ish shape like that I'm still not super wild about it. <clears throat> no, I don't like it. Darn. Yeah, I have to use something smaller. That's just not gonna work for me. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Make a difference. Make a difference. Let's see. Be fearless, be original. 
be awesome. Live in the moment. Nope, too big. Um, let it go. <laughs> be authentic. Here we go. That's nice and small. And would it work if I made it nice and small like that? No, I think I need to <clears throat> not have it on the backing because it, just, it pulls too much uh, of the blue over there and then it's like crisscross. Or should I put it down here? No, I don't like it there. Right here. No, it has to be in the middle. Like that, or I need to stop sticking it. I'm gonna mess it up. Be authentic up here. No, I don't like that. Okay. Just trying to think any other way I can put it on there. No, I don't like that. Goodness. Maybe it doesn't, shouldn't have a word. Because I can't seem to make this look right. What else could I put on here? Um, maybe a picture. <clears throat> I cannot make that work. Let's see. Hmm. Put a picture of my daughter. That's cute. Just gonna kinda tear around it, make it a little bit smaller. Printed this out in black and white. Just a cute picture. Yeah. Let's just do a little distress around the edge. <clears throat> That's just whatever was left, either. Um, ground espresso or vintage photo, whatever was in there. Okay, like that, or like, like this. Why is this so hard to decide? I think I want it over here, yep. The heart is there, but I want this right here. There we go. I like that. There we go. I could put be authentic, but I don't think so. No, I'm just gonna leave it. <clears throat> so here it is, my finished card. So we have these buttons. These are, this is the straw right here. I've got coffee, coffee dyed paper, and let's see, button, straw, coffee. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> Buttons, coffee, straw, heart. Yes, and the heart. You saw me put the heart on there, so. There we are. The heart is there. And um, I hope we have to make one that's a little more visible. I mean, I guess I could, but <clears throat> let me see if I can make this heart a little bit smaller. There is a heart. Little too tall. Little too tall. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not so much the tall as the wide. Okay. Okay. All 
right. So I can add that really quick. And I am getting a phone call. So we will finish up here. And I think that one that right there. There we go. Here is the card. And she is beautiful. Okay. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe um, and give me a thumbs up. Um, love to hear your comments. Um, I appreciate you for watching. And I have lots of projects that I need to record and share with you. So I'm excited to do that. And hopefully I can get that done soon. Okay, see you next time. Bye.